Well, I started drugs at 12. I used everything that was possible. I started sniffing what they call huffing, you know. I took all the pills, the downers, the uppers. I took uh, LSD, the mescaline. I took, um, and then the heroin. The heroin started by snorting and then put it on your on your cigarettes and or, or weed. It, it didn't. I didn't start off shooting it, and then eventually your your skin popping, which means you're you're only shooting it in the muscle. You're not really doing it intravenously. By the time I was 15, I started doing it intravenously, and then it escalated once you start doing it for a while. And I used to have the attitude that. I was never going to be like the Tecatos, those junkies in the, in the corner, those guys. In a, I'm, I, I'll use it. I'll be okay. You know, you always, I was thinking, hey, uh, it's no big deal. I'll, I'll get over it. Uh, it does get you very sick, but then it also you learn how to, how to get, you know, most out of it. Um, and, but what happens is it uh, eventually catches up to you, you know, and I was homeless in the streets of downtown L.A. And I felt um, I saw something about the world of, of heroin that was, uh, for some reason, whatever good part of me I had, I just didn't like. Um, people wouldn't do anything for a fix. You know, I mean, you see that in the streets of downtown. You see it among the homeless. Um, I used to um, never want to sleep with anybody. My thing was I would always find my own spot and always be a different spot every night. They would invite me, hey, come on, you hang with us. During the day, I was hanging with people. Uh, we used to mug people in Chinatown and Vera Street just to get a little bit of money. Um, and then I was just, but. It was like a predator world that was very um, dangerous, and I didn't trust nobody. Heroin use is actually starts out when you're a teen, and the vast majority of heroin addicts quit. I didn't know this. I've had to find out mm -hmm. at, the t at that time, late teens, early 20s. Um, then you got the smaller number of people who stayed at the castles for years and years, and then you have even smaller than lifetime. You know what I mean? It gets smaller and smaller, but I was one of those that left early. Um, but unfortunately, one of the things they do say, almost all of them become alcoholics. That's one of the things. Um, and I didn't know that I was part of the, that statistic. Alcoholism was bad, good, good for me. It was, to, to me, it was clean. It was like, well, everybody drinks, no big deal. Um, I didn't know that I was carrying on a, my addiction. Alcohol over 20 years of drinking did more damage to me than what I was doing seven years of drugs. So overall, it's more damaging. Overall, it brought more um, pain in my life, more destruction to my relationships. Um, so that's 27 years of my life caught in drugs and or alcohol that I eventually had to let go. And it took, um, I've been sober for 21 years. It took my son, my oldest son, being in so much trouble. It took uh, my wife, my beautiful, wonderful wife, Trini, um, to feel so strange for me, and I knew that it was my drinking that was contributing to it. It, it, it. I was losing my family, I was losing my kids, I was losing the best woman in my life, and I had to make a decision, I'm not going to do this. And that's important, something to be bigger and more important than the drinking.